Uh, how are you doing last, for the last week? Yeah. Good, right? Okay, uh, before we listen to the word of the Lord, I would like to ask you a few questions. Have you ever sinned? Have you ever felt guilty in your heart? Have you ever thought of repenting? If so, here are the topics we will, that we will discuss this week. Okay, let us uh, read uh, Joel uh, second together. Uh, uh, Joel two together. Please uh, rise for the word of the Lord. Okay. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God. For he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. Who knows? He may return and relent and leave behind great offerings and great offerings for the Lord your God. Okay, so uh, thank you, everyone. Please sit down. Okay. Okay, before we enter uh, the topic, <coughs> shall we pray together? For the Lord God, who art in heaven, I pray to you that today we, you will meet us. I will be only your speaker. Uh, please, uh, I'd like to, uh, to listen and understand and we will have a time for me in life. We will repent our sin to you and you and we will reconcile again. Please, God, please. Uh, use me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. First of all, let me explain about today's topic, Lend Your Heart. What does actually mean? This means uh, being truly repentant of one sin and having genial change of heart. It's not just about feeling sad or remorseful. It is about deep sorrow for one thing and the sincere desire to turn away from sin and return to God. Uh, like a, as you can see right from the psalm of the uh, psalm that David uh, under it. Right? The sanctifier of God, a uh, broken spirit, a more and contrite heart, O oh God, you will that's fine. So this is the main topic for today is for truly sorry and repenting and have a bad relationship relationship with God again. So, uh, in Joel, uh, uh, in the verse 12, right? Even now you can the Lord return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. So what do we see here? From this word, we will see the word even now, right? The word even now, which indicates God's urgency in our return to Him. Why is urgent? The cause we are sin is the farther away, farther away we are from God. When we are far from God, we may experience guilt, loneliness, and bitterness. God doesn't want us to go to that. He calls us to turn our face back to Him. To be reconciled with Him, He calls us to fast, to weep and to lament to him. Okay, let's explore how we can truly focus on him by, okay, the, uh, what's the thing, right? Rent your heart and not your garment. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents uh, from sending calamity. The first, rent your heart, Mean as we have already explained, generously repenting of our sins and not just symbolically telling our call to show sorrow, anger, or guilt as the Jew used to do. Actually, uh, for my recommend, don't, don't tear your garment, it's, it's expensive, right? <laughs> don't do that. Okay. God wants us to truly sincere in our repentance. Is our ready to forgive us because of one of his characteristics, 
is being full of grace and mercy, is slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. He is also changes his mind and does not punish us if we genuinely repent. He is the God of second chance. Are you ready to take your second chance? He have a second chance for all of us. In verse 14, up, who knows, he may, he may turn and relent and leave behind a blessing, gain offering and gain offering for the Lord your God. What, what, do, what can we see from this? Uh, you see, right? Who knows, he may turn and relent and leave behind a blessing. Oh, this is very interesting thing. This verse is a call for people to repent of their sin and turn to God. The Lord promised that if we do so, He will forgive us and bless us. The expression, who knows, here, yeah, right? Who knows? Emphasize that we cannot predict the future, but we can assure that God is gracious and merciful. He is already ready to forgive us if we turn to Him. The, f the first turn and relent mean that God changed His mind about punishing us when we repent of our sin. Instead, He forgave us and softened His hand toward us. And you will see the, the green one, right? Uh, this is the blessing. The expression live and behind blessing refer to how God blesses us abundantly when we depend on our sin. This blessing includes love, peace and peace and salvation. So, when we repent, God bestows many blessings upon us. He returned what was taken away from us. He went us to be with Him on the right path, not staying into unrighteousness. He is a good Father who desires to be uh, the best for his children, right? We are his children, right? So he have a best thing for us. Okay, right now let's look at the example of the story of the toy person. I think everyone here know already except for me. So I will have a like a brief, short brief. The political son is a parable of Jesus that found in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, verse 11. 11 to 32 will tell of a man who had, of, who had two sons. The elder son was obedient and stayed with his father. However, the younger son was rebellious and asked for his share of the inheritance. The father granted his request and the younger son squandered all his money on a life of luxury and lively. Eventually, he ended up in poverty and had to work as a farmer raising pig, as you can see from this picture, right? Realizing his mistake, he decided to return to his uh, father and seek forgiveness. When fa the father saw him from afar, he ran to embrace uh, him and welcome him back with open arms, right? I give a hug to him. The father ordered the best clothes and a ring for his son and prepared a field to celebrate his return. The elder son, who has been working in a field, became angry and refused to join uh, the celebration. The father went out to him and pleaded him for him to come inside, explained that uh, everything he has belonged to him, and that they should rejoice because the younger brother was lost and is now found. No matter, uh, so the parable teach us that God loves us all and is always ready to forgive us. No matter how many mistakes we have made, he agree with 
hourly turn to him with open arms. So another example is my testimony. From this is the <coughs> testimony, testimony from my life that abandoning abandoned God calling for a while. Before I am serving at SEC here, I work I used to work for another Christian organization next door. But I made a mistake by prioritizing my mother over God because of her illness. I felt disconnected from God and so I decided to become a freelancer. However, the work didn't bring me a peace of mind. And my relationship, relationship with God deteriorated uh, further. I prayed for forgiveness and a chance to serve Him again. The way, uh, and I expressed my desire to Him that I want to open a church in Sumapakan Hoin. The very next day, Pastor Rai called, inform, uh, called to inform me that our church right, was evicted. And so I decided to volunteer and help uh, this church. Pastor Rai then invited me to serve the Lord together, and I have been uh, serving ever since. This experience taught me that God is a God of second chance. And I am grateful for that. Thank God for His mercy. So, this is my story, and was it yours? Okay. Uh, actually, uh, the next part is the gospel. If you have not received, I ask you, Lord. I ask you to listen for, to the good news of God and the one who already uh, received the uh, Christ already, right? You can uh, use this to revision and also use this method to share out the gospel. We, as you can see, right, we have a four symbol, right, of heart, uh, X, the cross, and the question mark. For the first symbol, right, God is pure above all else. He created you out of kindness and love to know Him, to love Him, to love others, and to do good. Why can't we see and meet Him? Are you curious? If so, we have an answer for you. We have all sinned and rejected God, resulting in our separation from Him and deserving His judgment. How then can we be saved from the consequence of sin and God right uh, and God righteous judgment right because sin separate us from God and we deserve judgment. So the solution is God loves you. He came at Jesus Christ to atone for your sin, give you the new life and lead you back to God. But this alone is not enough. You must turn to him from sin and trust in Jesus to redeem you from sin and live a new life by Him, in Him, by repenting, believing, and receiving. So, right now, uh, we have two choices, but actually the, the best choice is to repent and trust in Christ, right? So, what is God calling you now? How would you respond to Him? You can communicate with God through prayer to be clear. Prayer is not a chant or religion uh, ritual. Prayer itself does not save you. It is, but prayer is a straightforward way of communicating with God honestly. So if you are ready to repent of your sin and trust in Christ, you can call Him your Lord and God. So I will guide us to uh, in prayer now. Uh, so this is a revision, right? Because all of us are uh, received Christ already, so we can uh, revision again with Christ. Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry that I have sinned against you and others. I want to turn away from my sin and come back to you. Please forgive me, Lord, uh, for all my sin. Thank you, Jesus for loving me and dying on the cross to cleanse me from all my sin. I want to follow you as my Savior and Lord. Amen. So, 
Uh, if we go out, right, and you you want to share gospel, just call me because uh, we uh, I have an app. Actually, uh, when when I work in the, the uh, old organization, right, we develop the app for sharing gospel uh, with Jason uh, So we have an both Thai and English app. So you can uh, download it in our uh, Google Play Store and iOS. So we will summarize. So in conclusion, right, in Joel uh, 2, 12 to 14, God called us to repentance and promises. Reconciliation when we turn to Him. To repentance goes beyond words. It involves sincere change in mind and behavior. God love and mercy motivate him to offer revival. When we repent, God fill us with his. God fill us with his when we repent. So uh, I think everyone have a do sin before, right? Uh, in uh, ever in our, our mind, right? Our word, our act, our uh, or uh, not do anything is also sin, right? So, shall we uh, confess to the Lord together? But the Lord God, who art in heaven, I pray to you, I'm really sorry what we done, what I done in the past. But the Lord, i very sorry for my act, my heart, that not obeyed you all the, all the time. So God, please give us a repent, so please forgive us that what we're doing and we will shame and because right now we to regenerate turn back to you. Please God, please help us to let me in uh, on your way, on your path. Please God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So we have a, I have some question for reflection. Uh, to, to all of you uh, <coughs> today, you can use this for like a, uh, in your small group, right? Uh, to have a worship together and just ask that what Joel challenged people to what that repent to God in. And the second is, what promise does God make to the repentant? And the third one is, how can you apply this promise in your life? So, uh, we end up for today. Thank you everyone for listening to the word of the Lord together. <coughs>